Chupacabra Leather Company is owned and operated by lifelong friends Steve and Stefan. Having always had a knack for making things, or at least making them funny, the guys went into business making custom belts, scabbards, and holsters. Since their start, the store has grown to add gifts, jewelry, knives, and guns to the mix. Head down to Chapel Hill to see the coolest little leather shop around. Let's see what the guys are up to now. There was some comments on our last videos. I've seen a couple of them questioning the truth of our story. And we will tell y'all right now, our stories are true. We may tell a joke every once in a while, and if we do, we'll let you know. But our stories happen. And the reason they did is because we didn't stay in the house. Our mamas locked us outside, and we... But that was okay with us because oh, yeah. we went camping every weekend out in the woods and playing and all kinds of stuff. We had to make our own toys and stuff. And one time, we even made our own zip line. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we took a piece of nylon ski rope and stretched it between two trees. And when we couldn't get it tight enough, we took a come along and stretched it even tighter and uh, went out daddy's parts pile and found a pulley and a fan belt. Yeah. Do you think that fan belt would hold us up now? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we still have our high school figure. We didn't have one in high school. No, we didn't have a figure. We got one now though. Yeah. I can't figure out what it is, but we got it. <laughs> well, we didn't have it low to the ground either. We had it about 10, 12 feet up in the air and it was the world's fastest zip line because that thing, we had to, instead of you hitting a tree at the end of it, we had to put a knot at the end of the rope and it would sure put the woe on you. It would, yeah. it would stop. It uh, almost give you whiplash. Tree. It'd flip you out of the fan belt or whatever. But one day, now we had big hair back then. Yeah, we looked like dirty Q-tips. Yeah, big hair. <laughs> And uh, Stefan climbed up in the tree, and I think Randy, my brother, was there. Randy was there. And he lit down that thing, and I swear he got halfway, and it looked like he hit a knot. But what happened is got his head too close to the pulley and then sucked his hair in. Sucked all my hair out and found out I had a ear on that side. Yeah. And a tater fell out of it. <laughs> Luckily, it didn't wind his hair up. It just pulled it through. And it was kind of funny. It looked like a pigtail <laughs> sticking out to the side, but it brought him to a stop. And he was hollering and can't blame him. That probably yeah. hurt. It Randy like, had to grab me by my feet and run me up backwards on that Well, thing. we had to go get a ladder. ladder. We yeah. had to go get a step ladder while you hung there. Yeah. And we giggled as we did it, but <laughs> uh, we put the step ladder up and had to yeah, Back pull him up. backwards to get his hair back out of it. But he learned then. Next time he wrote it, he, he wrote had that his head, thing out like that. Yeah, he, he had his that pulley, head out hot. to the side. So uh, that is a true story. That really happened. Uh, Y'all got any questions? Y'all just shoot them to us online. Uh, also, us. if you look down, I think uh, my daughter Livy is going to link link us over to YouTube. So. Uh, you can go to our YouTube channel and see uh, see the videos. Adios, y'all. See y'all later. Thanks for looking at us. That thing on now? <laughs> oh, you can't say that. <laughs> Damn, that was a water hose. <laughs>